Hello again, welcome back to Path of Exile, let's play part two. Let's get into it. Last episode we finished up the tutorial. Greetings. And we got the Walls of the Soul Ruin Zombie. Lion Eyes gym. Watch. Defensible enough with a few stout, well armed veterans. But what have I got? Starving exiles with driftwood clubs and rusted dirks. Still, there's the waypoint. A piece of locomancy. Couldn't use it till I found another one out in the mudflats under a rower's nest. Step on that one and you're back here in a flash. Though I spill my lunch every time I use the damn thing. So he pretty much just described how you could find waypoints out in the world and then warp from towns to those waypoints at any time. They're essentially, essentially like checkpoints if you're familiar with other kind of games or if you're familiar with Diablo games, they uh, had waypoints as well. Selling some of this crap I picked up. As you can see, the what you sell items for isn't your standard currency. They're more like craftable items, crafting items, or identification items. Um, it's kind of weird, but that's how they do it in this game. I'm gonna identify this hood. Gonna be using that. stuff away. Help keep things organized. It's good to stay organized in these kind of games. Looks good to me. Let's see what this guy's A whitefish, waterlogged witch, washed up in ray cloths. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about you, Exile. Easy, girl. You could scorch your blood with a look like that. The name's Bestel, captain of the good ship Merry Gull. At last, my Merry Gull is gone. My uh, crew is gone. But my wits remain after a fashion. <laughs> okay. All introduction. I thought you did a hillock out there, witch. Your black art is the reason you're here in exile. It may also be the only thing that allows you to see another dawn. I'm Nessa, and I suppose I should thank you for ridding us of that putrid giant. Back in Aureth, I judged your kind without hesitation. In Rayclast, I don't have that luxury. Lion Eyes Watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here, while you live. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for, and there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Can I help? Okay, looks like we have a side quest um, to, to go get a medicine chest. Sounds interesting. I'm sure there's some sort of reward for doing it, so I'll probably do it. Uh, she just sells a bunch of crap, it seems like. From what I remember of this game, the, the merchants are kind of useless. They never really sell anything worthwhile. It's much better to just uh, find stuff out in the environment to use. So uh, let's get going. Let's uh, look for this medicine chest and explore the world, I guess. Try to figure out what's going on here. The very sand shivers with malice. There's a power here that welcomes me. Zombies. Just killing zombies. I feel like I'm playing uh, Dead Rising. Or Left for Dead. Or insert name of generic zombie killing game here. Ah, cannibals. It's gonna seem a bit more difficult than your standard zombies. 
at me with a stick and a torch. Did I just level up my fireball? I did. Sweet. I do like that about this game, that uh, as you use spells, gem spells or whatever, you actually level up the damage of the spell as well. Um, pretty cool feature. Kind of unique. They seem to... These cannibals seem to release a soul when they die or something. It's odd. Really like the uh, effects on the fireball. It's nice. I feel like there's going to be a lot of this in this game. A lot of, uh, you know, standing and shooting, killing things. Enemies definitely aren't very hard right now. of zombies. It's a cannibal. She's got like a shiv or something. Trying to prison riot cannibal. Funny how there's just seagulls around that just sort of fly away sporadically when you get near them. You'd think uh, these zombies would eat them, but I guess they draw the line on birds. game definitely feels and looks, well not looks, the graphics are much better, but it feels a lot like Diablo 2 in terms of gameplay. Calm's canoe struck this sand with the force of destiny. At his back, this the guy greatest... Can interrupt me? Yep. He sure is. Come on, dude. Calm's canoe struck this sand with the force of destiny. At his back, the greatest war host in Cardui history tamed the wild sea, their canoes coupling with the land one by one. kind of an annoying part about this game is that uh, dialogue and stuff like that to learn is to live. sort of interrupted by people um, I guess it's expected gotta level up grab some intelligence for now doesn't seem like a bad thing to grab Whoa! She's got fire spells too. A lot of cannibals here. And uh, that lady was uh, making it rain with fireballs. 
Who is this lady? Is her name Firefly? I didn't even catch that. Firefly. Don't you know? This is decently uh, intense. Fire Fury. of souls. That was kind of creepy. Already got some iron, iron gloves there, so throw those away. A couple stragglers here. Couple extras. Couple extra guys. I got the sticks. I gotta say, it's not the most intimidating thing. They're using just sticks, and I can shoot fireballs out of my hands. But, you know, they're doing their best, right? It's kind of gruesome. Including some impaled corpses. Chromatic orb. Reforges color sockets on an item. That could be useful. Get like a really good item and the sockets are just the wrong colors. It seems like uh, blue is a really useful color for me so far. You can rearrange the item to have better sockets. It's pretty cool. These cannibals seem to mana. grow torches, so I'm out of mana for the first time. I definitely need to invest in, uh, in some more mana. Or some mana regeneration or something. These, uh... Life and mana flasks seem to regenerate themselves pretty fast, making this uh, a bit easier. Definitely probably gonna check that out. Looks pretty cool. Pretty intriguing. Uh, yeah, it could uh, be some good stuff in there. Make sure I explore everything first, though. I'm trying to be thorough with this game because I remember last time I played it, I rushed everything and I ended up getting to an area that was quite a bit harder where I probably should have been and it made the game a bit of a pain. And since I'm going to be playing this solo, I want to be prepared. Seagulls, man. They're everywhere. There's so many cannibals here. Why don't they just eat each other? I don't get it. There's some, like, unwritten rule amongst cannibals that you don't eat other cannibals?
picking up tons of scrolls of wisdom. Remember, those are a pretty common form of currency. You can use those to buy things. But then again, like I just said not too long ago, uh, all the vendors, the merchants in this game don't really sell anything uh, useful, from what I remember. Like, occasionally you'll find something, but for the most part, they just sell, like, the standard version of the item, the non-rare or magic or whatever version, without any special attributes on it, so anything you find in the world pretty much is better. These cannibals do a surprising amount of damage. I think later in the game, not too much later. Um, the caster characters, the magic characters, and I think the like uh, other squishier characters get the, this energy shield from uh, their items, which uh, regenerates much faster than health and uh, helps to make the characters better for less squishy, I guess. It gives them sort of a bit of leeway when it comes to taking hits, which is very nice. It's like I'm getting close to being able to level up Fireball again. <clears throat> it seems like a pretty reliable source of damage, Fireball. Standard fireball. You can't really go wrong, I guess. As you can see, I already have a bit of energy shield down. The lower left hand corner. Um, it's obviously pretty small at the moment, but I'm sure it'll get much larger as time goes on. Alright. Doing a pretty good job of clearing this out. I still have not found that medicine chest, though. Must really be hidden. Good lady with a shield. Not today. She was looking for a pack of smokes, a carton of smokes. I honestly think the guys with the sticks do more damage than the ladies with the knives. Alright, got another level. Sweet. Probably should get some mana regeneration. Yep. Can, uh, use these fireballs more, more freely now. Will definitely be helpful. I still have not found this medicine chest. This is uh, turning out to be a bit more of a pain than I anticipated. So I figured it would just be a really easy, you know, beginner quest, but this thing's, this thing's pretty hard to find, let's be honest. It's not easy. Town portal scroll, those come in handy for sure. little cannibal camp over here. This one with the torch, throwing down fire. Gotta be careful. Concealed cavity of smothering. Ooh, sounds nice. Let's check it out. Ooh, this place is pretty cool looking, huh? It's got these, like, crazy red things floating around in front of the screen. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Evil energy? I don't know. Here's a strong box. Wow, that is a lot of monsters. Get out of there. Alright. Shoot fireballs from far away. We should be fine. This thing seems to... My way. Yes. Yes, I am. 
Um, these things seem to charge up and shoot electrical shocks. But my fireball seems to stun them. Couple more left, and then I should get what is it, whatever is in this chest. Oh, I leveled up my fireball again. That's good. More damage. Nothing wrong with a little more damage. I see another guy right there. Looks like he's probably the last. All right. Scroll of wisdom, armor scrap, orb of alchemy. I don't even know what that is. Of wisdom. Spirit twig increases spell damage. Definitely want to use that. Got a robe. Use that. A bow. A rusted spike. Corroded blade. I don't know what any of that stuff is, so. Throw on a robe. As you can see, my energy shield just got a whole lot bigger. So that's what I was talking about. Um, that's that shield that uh, casters get from using ropes. I think there might be perks later on down the, um, the witch skill tree thing that gives boosts to your energy shield specifically. So, it synergizes. It's nice. These guys. Fireballs are doing some pretty decent damage to these guys. Just clearing the place out. <clears throat> Ooh, superior robe. Probably grab that. Put that on. <clears throat> Probably better than a normal robe, I'd imagine. Or else it wouldn't be superior now, would it? I need more mana. Uh, mana again. Ooh. That lady is glowing yellow. Backwards, shoot fireballs, pretty standard stuff. Beach ball. Beach boil. Beach boil the damned. Got a couple blues, nothing of use, it seems. A couple more of these standard enemies. Like, what are these things? They're like flying lightning shooting squids. Parasites, maybe, but not actually what parasites look like. But. Sure are a lot of them, though. seems to have a chance to set them on fire. Been noticing that happening. Pretty cool. What is this? Some sort of zombie soldier? It's a different enemy. Val, Val Fallen. Val Fallen? Something like that? Fire resistance though. That's annoying. As someone whose main damage source is fire, fire resistance is a little bit annoying. 
seems to still do all right damage though, so not too big of a deal. Squids, man, bunch of squids. Definitely getting some solid uh, experience in here. A lot of enemies packed into this small area. Definitely not a bad thing. Levels are never a bad thing. some points. Why do that when there's monsters to kill, right? Right? Alright. I still need to figure out how to get the mini-map in the top right hand of the screen. Would be very helpful. navigation a hell of a lot easier. Wouldn't have to keep pulling this up. Whoa. Blue guys. Those are the enhanced normal mobs, I believe. At least that's what it was in uh, Diablo games. Definitely taking more shots, so. There's quite a few of them. Not really a problem, you can just sort of walk backwards and avoid all damage. A couple more. A couple stragglers. These guys didn't join the party before, but they are now. Definitely not the fastest enemies. Very leisurely coming to uh, try to murder me. Nothing good, really. Superior mana flask, that could work. Could come in handy. things a bit. Whoa, we got the boss. He's zapping away. The all-seeing eye, was that his name? Yeah, I think it is. Whoa, he, he is rapid fire. And he's regenerating his shield pretty fast. I think I gotta just, just gotta go for it. Oh wow, it's doing a lot of damage. I dodge that big charge up ability. Just shoot him, and I should, should probably be fine. That shield is very annoying. It's regenerating. Just keep dodging those. Shooting. All right, he's down. Anything good? Uh, little shoes, maybe. Might be able to use those. Too much clutter. Too much clatter, man. I think that means clutter, but I don't know. Clatter might be a word as well. That means uh, a lot of stuff. The rest of this sort of looks like junk. I just grab some of it to sell it because I'll probably go back to town pretty soon. End this video relatively soon. It's been going for a little while now. A bit 
increase spell damage on that one. Worth switching out. Let's read this. Okay. It's kind of a creepy, ominous message. And let's click on this. Vol Burning Arrow. Air that fires that explodes, it deals fire to its target nearby enemies. Wonder if I can use that. It's corrupted. I don't know what corrupted means. And it also sounds like a bow ability, unless it's a magic arrow. But my feeling is that it's probably. Yeah, it's a bow right on it. Um, probably can't use it, but might as well try. Skill can't be used. Um, yeah, probably can't use that, unfortunately. Although it sounds really cool. Nice if I could use it. But, oh well. Well, this little side dungeon seems to be just about done. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little bit more exploring for the time being. Make sure I got everything pretty close to a level up, so it would be nice if I could get that before ending. It's a dead end. Overworld. Didn't loot this on the way in. Doesn't seem to have anything in it, so not that important. Still haven't found that medicine chest, though. Really would like to be able to find that. Um, it's crazy that I haven't found it yet. You'd think it would be pretty straightforward to find. Uh, it's to be an entrance to another area down below me. Get out of here, seagulls. There's no place for you. I There's think that level. Will serve. My low five now, something like that. What to get, what to get. Figure it out after I deal with that guy. Um. <clears throat> Intelligence, spell damage, grab some spell damage. Mana is not a huge issue, only in uh, some situations run low on it, but I mean I have these flasks which I've hardly touched yet, so shouldn't be too bad. She said this medical kit would be on on a beach, on the beach somewhere. Still have yet to find it. I've explored most of the beach in this area, so there must be just some small section that I'm missing. That's not the right tab at all. Where is the quest tab? Which one is the quest tab? I look like such an amateur. Alright, screw it. There's another another way to a different area. Still have yet to find the medicine chest. I just want to save lives, man. I just want to save lives. But, uh... Yeah. That might be it for this episode. Um, next episode, I will definitely find this medicine chest already. Um, but I'm having trouble finding it now. Um, and this video is over 30 minutes already, so probably going to end here. Uh, thanks for watching.